to Ian McDonald and I'm cruising around the world. Do you want to come? I've spent half my life on cruise ships. You all right? And now I want to help you get the most out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly two million Brits took to the seas last year, making this type of holiday more popular than ever. There's something for everyone on a cruise. Excitement. <laughs> Wonderment. So it makes you feel humble. And romance. Are you married, Captain? No. <sighs> Come on, then. This time, I'm on top of the world. Literally. I'm cruising round a rugged but breathtaking island with freezing temperatures. <laughs> Spectacular wildlife. Oh, look at that! The cutest creatures. Little puffin. I feel like it. And the greatest light show on earth. Oh, look! Look at that! Look! And if you think all this looks familiar, yeah. well, think again. I've uncovered some extra bits to show you that made my trip to Iceland all the more fun. So, can this say. Jagata. So want to say Arkata. Want to say Arkata. Welcome to Iceland. We're in Iceland. It's sun shining again. It's beautiful. So many people come on holiday here these days. They just can't get enough of what this magical island has to offer. They call it the land of fire and ice. It's got some belting sights, like the majestic Gulfos waterfall, the beautiful Blue Lagoon, and loads of hot geysers. You can never get enough of them. We're sailing from Reykjavik. It's the capital. But it doesn't look much bigger than Wakefield. It's a busy place, though. There's 330,000 people in the whole of Iceland, and over a third of them live here. Now, I've not much time before the cruise starts, so this will be a whistle stop tour. Come for a wander around Reykjavik. Is that how I say it? Reykjavik? Reykjavik. Reykjavik? Anyway. Did you know Reykjavik is the world's most northern capital? Hey, my kind of place. I know that Bjork comes from here, and it's built on a volcano. We need your help with it. Yeah, I have done a little bit, actually. Ooh, oh, I see. What's that? <laughs> oh, my God. You are not going to believe what I've just learned. Apparently, these two are the parents of 13 Santa Clauses that they have here. Um, oof, it's quite frightening, actually, because this lady here eats naughty children. Yeah, eats naughty ch children. It's very, I mean, getting into making your kids behave at Christmas. Apparently, if you don't behave at Christmas, this lady comes and eats you. Now, that's a bit, <laughs> a bit much, isn't it, really? Um, but these are the parents of the 13 Santa Clauses that come and put little presents in your shoes for the 13 nights before Christmas. Not only that, if you've been bad and you're a child, you get a potato instead of a present. So that's why everybody is really well behaved in Iceland. And I'm certainly being a good girl, as I was told to bring all my warmest clothes. But the weather has had other ideas. This must be weird, cos I'm, I'm, like, dressed for Siberia. People are walking around in T-shirts. That's hard. <laughs> you can tell the tourists. Moi. Due to the fact that we're, we're all dressed up in big coats and hats and everything else, leathers and boots. And the locals are out in T-shirts. <laughs> it's not right, is it? I love a shop. That's a nice hat, isn't it? 
I'm, I'm, it just, it's just like, it's just like a sheep has unzipped its coat and put it on this model. <laughs> and it's absolutely beautiful. It's had a wash, obviously. So it's as if a sheep's been in the shower, had a bit of a shampoo and set, then unzipped its coat and just put it on it. And it feels so fluffy. And I'm just wondering what happens if, if you get it wet. Does it go frizzy like your hair? It's lovely, isn't it? I wish you could feel it like I'm feeling it. One of the most recognised landmarks is this massive church called Hals Krimskirkia. You can see it from almost every street. I'm not usually big on churches because I end up getting married in them. <laughs> Look, there's a lawn on the roof. How do you cut that? You can't go up there with a the flying mode, can you, really? Well, your lead, won't, your lead won't go that far, would it, really? And also, how'd you sunbathe up there? Once you put your oil on, you'd slip straight off the roof, wouldn't you, really? You can't have your lawn on your roof. I just suppose it's nice and warm. Insulation, I think, is the word. <laughs> right, to the harbour. We've got a ship to catch. So look, this is my ship. This is our ship. OK, I've been on prettier, but as we say in Yorkshire, don't judge a pie by its crust. This girl's got strength and staying power. Starting out as a ferry, then a mail ship, she's built for expeditions rather than entertainment. This doesn't look like a normal cruise ship, but it's about where you're going and what you do when you get to the destinations and the adventures you're going on. We're going to do all sorts on this one. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I've got my vest on. We're going right around Iceland in nine adventure-filled days. From Reykjavik, we'll sail clockwise to the cold capital, Eidsafor... Isafor... There. After that, we're going further north to see the whales in Husavik. Then round to another place in the west. These islands in the south and then right back to where we started. Hello, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Come on board. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. How are you? Checking in is to that. Thank you very much. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you all. Does this happen for everybody? Yeah? With only 100 cabins, this ship's on the small side, but it's got everything you need. A lounge, it's got two restaurants, and even an outdoor swimming pool. Well, you won't catch me jumping in there without my thermals on. It's got a real sort of cosy feel. It's just lovely. And that's the difference with having a smaller ship. It's a personal thing. They will know us all by the time we get off here. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Coming up, I practice my language skills on the locals. Sugan this sea. Yay. Jargata. And I get caught off the hook at the fish market. It's fascinating. Oh. <laughs> Cruise sailing round Iceland. This isn't your usual luxury liner, but an expedition experience. See you later. See you later. Bye. 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 I'm off to see my cabin, helped by my wonderful steward, Ray. Right. Just follow me. Okay, your cabin is here. Thank you very Please much. Please watch the step. I will. Yes. Oh, this is lovely. Oh. Yes, he's got a sunbed and fruit and everything. All this! <gasps> Thank you, Ray. Oh, that's a big balcony, isn't it? Yes, it's only alone for you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And I show you your bathroom. 
watch yeah. the step before you enter this the bathroom. This is nice. Look at this. Nice big shower. I mean, you can get two people in the shower. Ray, get in the shower. Oh, I get in the shower also? Yeah. No. Okay. No? Yeah. So three people so in the three shower people missing in the one. Shower. That's fab, isn't it? Enjoy your stay with us. I will. And goodbye. See you every day. Every day and every exactly. night. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. See you later. Oh, sweet. We like soft lighting. We really like soft lighting. <laughs> and then you've got your magnifying mirror there. All right. None of that because it's got me wrinkles. None of that. What happened? None of that. This is one of those ships where you never feel like you're just part of the crowd. They even seem to know what your favourite drink is. Oh, you want a, cup, a glass of champagne on the way? Can I offer well, you a glass of champagne? Not, is that? Yeah, that? there's champagne, as you see. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing, yeah, let's go. <laughs> the captain has invited me to join him on the bridge, and after all the cruises I've been on, that's still very, very special. I open the doors a little bit heavy here. There's the captain. Hello. Greetings. Very Welcome. nice to meet Come you. In. Come in. Come on. My nice name is Hans. Nice Hans. Hands. Welcome to the bridge. This is such a big deal. I'm sailing the ship out of Iceland with the captain. I'm not cracking that because I might crash. Are you warm enough, captain? Yes. Oh. With a lovely lady like you, <laughs> side by side, I feel very warm. All right, then so am I. Yeah. Might need a coat, though. Oh, yes, thank you. I think you're probably right. Thank you very much, Thomas. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Wake up. Now they know we're going, you That's know? That's true. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Reykjavik. Ciao. <laughs> oh, I love it. Captain. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I feel like Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> I've got my fur coat on. I'm on the bridge of a ship with my two handsome officers. Are you married, Captain? No. No? Not this week? Not this week. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fabulous. <laughs> and bring your fur coat, cos it's freezing. <laughs> We've stopped off on our way up to Isafyador. Phew. At a place called Wait for It. Stick is Holmio, spoken like a native. I'm here to meet a couple of ladies, Theo and Maisa. Hello! Who have set up what they call a slow picnic experience. And what a lovely welcome. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Are you ready for me? I'm on my way. Bye. They look really nice, don't they? Would you like some hot chocolate? Oh, wow! We thought it might be a little cooler, so we decided to have some chocolate. Yeah. But then it's and some crazy. It oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the calories, girls. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Close I enough. Good yeah. component. Cheers. Scout. 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 Oh, oh that's that is lovely. lovely. Thank you very much. So why, why do you do this then? What started all this off? We were actually, first we were thinking about what we could do with four kids. Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't take up all just, of our just, time. Just, can I stop you there? Yeah. So Sugandisayagata. Sugandisayagata. I'm nothing if not determined. Sugandisayagata. Sugandisayagata. Jagata. Yeah, almost. Yeah. So want to say Arkata. Say it again. So want to say Arkata. <laughs> <laughs> so want to say Arkata. So, so you don't do, do the G. So uh, it's, it's like a, a soft G. Yeah. Soft G. It's like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so want to say Arkata. So want to say Arkata. Yeah. Forget it. Anyway, yeah, we'll yeah, walk yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Theo and Mysa were inspired by their picturesque surroundings to create the Slow Picnic, a relaxing dining experience where you stop and connect with nature. We go, we are so exhausted. Yes, you need some mussels. Yes, yes please. please. Mussels in the area. Just straight from the bay. You see, straight yeah. from the bay. Yeah. You fished them this, this morning, right? Yeah, yeah, I fished this morning. I These are very it. clean mussels? Yeah, that's clean. Yeah, from and look rope. at the size of them. Not from the bottom, it's from the rope. rope from rope. the ropes that go straight yeah. down into the ocean yeah. and they grow in the bags, no? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, be fair. They're not stupid, but I can't. <laughs> yeah. So the, these are full of, of, of goodness and go yes. they're very good for you? Very healthy, yes. Very yeah. healthy. Yeah. I'm and glad. full of meat now. Full of meat, yes. Yeah, this season. They finish uh, uh, babies. Uh-huh. Yeah, that season is finished and now they only eat and eat for the winter. I see. Ah, so, so they're good. Big juicy. Yeah. 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 Fat and juicy muscles. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had hot chocolate and we're going to have a fat and juicy muscle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everything in balance. <laughs> yeah, we like a bit of balance. <laughs> yeah, right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Nice to nice. meet you. Hey. Okay. Do you want me to take something, girls? You take this. Okay. This. Yeah, and then I will leave the rest else. Here. Okay. Yeah. Is it safe? Yeah, sure. Fine. We would leave our kid here. Really? <laughs> I can't help thinking that a cheese butty and a bag of crisps would have been a lot easier. But this is a slow picnic after all. <laughs> Oi! Yeah? Thank you very much. It's lovely. Oh, here comes a ship. This is pretty cool, isn't it, really? What a lovely way to spend an afternoon. You feel right like a local with a genuine taste of Icelandic life. Ooh, hello! I feel the peace and the tranquility and the beauty and the healing of this amazing island. I'm eating fresh caught mussels that have just been cooked on a fire by two amazingly brilliant girls. And, and I feel like I've just stepped out of life for a, for a moment. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it was so nice having you. Oh, I've had such a lovely time. <laughs> oh, come here, Thank you, you. The cook, the chef. <laughs> oh. Thank you. It's just been amazing, amazing. And thank you for sharing this part of your tiny piece of the world with us. That's what we like to do. Yeah. 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 Thank you for coming. Thank you. And, it, and you have, you've slowed my heart down. And that's exactly what <laughs> that's I needed what to do. That's what we trying to do. That's yeah, good. it's wonderful. Yeah. Bye. 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 And back on ship, the atmosphere is just as relaxing. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, I love this. It's, really, it's old fashioned cruising. It says leave all your dinner jackets at home and your ball gowns and your high heels. That's something I've never done, it's left me high heels at home. I haven't got one pair of stilettos with me. So basically, you put on a pair of jeans, some comfortable shoes, and a coat, and face the day. Totally alien to me, but even I can change. Overnight, we've sailed further north into the small fishing town of Aisafjordor. Fish is so important to Iceland. In fact, it's the main export. This tiny town has the best of all. The stuff they catch here gets sent to the swankiest restaurants in London, New York, Paris, and our ship. Hello. Hey, good Hello. morning, Jay good Thomas morning. here. How are you? Very well, how are you? Now, I don't know much about fish. What I eat is usually slathered in breadcrumbs or batter with chips or mushy peas. 
But luckily, Thomas, the ship's hotel manager, is an expert. So this here is, uh, is my uh, third season here with the ship. And I think for this season, uh, we bought uh, six tons of fresh fish. Six tons of yeah, fresh 6, fish? Yeah, 6,000 kilo. That's a lot of fish. So this is the best fish over here? Not over here, in the world. In the world? Yeah. They're catching the fish today, and tomorrow is already in New York. It's, yes, one bacalao, one codfish, dry, uh -huh. hanging there. And then... Kauri. Hey, hi, oh, hey. Thomas. Hello. Kauri, how are you? Hey. I'm Kauri, the local fisherman. Kauri. Yeah. This I got in last night. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that. This is what you call a proper cod in Iceland. Well, you don't get that in your local chippy, do you? <laughs> no, normal size. I didn't realise that was... Uh... How much? Oh, my goodness me, that's, that's a big about, fish. About get it in this some a... batter. <laughs> a a monkfish. Monk fish. <laughs> this, this we have on the menu tonight. Oh, monk oh, fish. oh really? <laughs> yeah. That is, that is an ugly fish, isn't it? As opposed to a good-looking fish. I've learned quite a lot, actually the fish is a lot bigger and you can only use 38%. That's why it's so expensive, because you, you only actually eat 30% of the fish and they've all got really big heads, especially the monkfish, that's a big head. And the catfish, I mean, I never knew that they grew teeth once a year because they eat so much uh, shellfish, they live off shellfish, that of course the teeth have to bite through the shells all the time. So. You know, every year they grow new teeth. Oh! <laughs> you! You've done that on purpose, you put me there! Catching fish is one thing, making a meal out of it is another. So why have I ended up working? I want to show you Back on the boat, I'm going to learn how to prepare a Nordic delicacy. Hey, John, how are you? Hi, John. Good. Nice Hi. to see you. Let's right. see, I hope the size will be OK. Yeah, I think this is perfect. Very good. That's a... always Jane, a... cook apprentice. You oh, see? I like that. You like this, you know, I made for you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel quite nervous. Okay. I feel like I'm in MasterChef. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is going to show me how to make gravelax, and for that, we'll be using some of the fresh salmon picked up in the harbour. I start, I show you how to make it. You take this in your hand, take a little bit, and not scare, you go like this. More, more, more. Don't be more. scared. Yeah, don't be scared. He needs a lot of salt to get firm. Yeah? More, more, more. So what actually is gravelax, Thomas? The gravelax is a, is a fresh uh, raw salmon, but we only skier. So it's not cooked. It's completely raw. But it got processed now from the salt and the sugar. So this is a completely different taste to smoked salmon. Yeah, then. complete. Much better. So now we took, put the same in sugar. So more, more, more. Don't yeah, OK. I can see you have a lot of practice already. No, so I'm all doing is sprinkling, Thomas. Well, sprinkling is not okay. cooking, is it? So this is more decorating than no, cooking. No, no, this is for the taste. <laughs> This oh. is the easy one. Now we're taking the dill. I love dill. Is that it? That is it, finish. Oh, my yeah, God, that was look at easy. that. We put it on top of each other now, like this, and then that is it, finish. Nothing to do. Perfect. Oh. I can make that, no problem. This goes in the fridge, Connie. That's Just nice. in the fridge? I like the fact that I've been able to get dressed up in this outfit, and I've even had a badge made for me. Assistant, chef. Apprentice. Apprentice, all right, apprentice. Apprentice. Coming up, I set my pulse racing with a hot dip. Oh, this is lovely. And get fully togged up to catch a close-up with some of the local inhabitants. I'm on a cruise round the entire coast of Iceland a majestic island full of natural wonders. All the rolling hills and rugged coastlines in Iceland have been caused by volcanoes, all erupting over thousands of years. They've not only shaped the land, they're still producing energy that's used for everything, from heating homes to lighting streets. That same energy even provides the heat for one of Iceland's ancient traditions, a spot of outdoor bathing. Whatever the weather. Bathing outside is naturally heated water is part of Icelandic life. They're considering exceedingly therapeutic. 
but it might just kill you getting to one. It's freezing up. <laughs> You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? You're gonna make me strip off. Should we just not bother? <laughs> Northern Iceland's answer to the popular Blue Lagoon are the mineral-rich Mavatin baths. The water gets heated as it comes up through the earth, and it's like a warm, relaxing hug, apparently. <sighs> it flipping better be. I'm rocking it, aren't I? I'm going in then. There's still no get out clause, eh? <laughs> oh, this is lovely. This is God. Oh, oh damn, this is The water here can reach 40 degrees. Perfect for a soothing soak. It's red hot. It's, it's brilliant. So brilliant, in fact, that I've even forgotten the smell. You know when you open some egg sandwiches? It were like that, but about a hundred times. The worst thing is getting from the changing room actually in here. That is the worst experience probably I'm going to have on this holiday. But once you're in here, ooh, it's so good. And if you come to Iceland, you've just got to come here because you're never going to find anything like this anywhere else in the world. Well, apart from New Zealand. But that's flipping miles away. It's blowing a gale, it's freezing cold, but in here, it's like a nice warm bath. Got a glass of red wine. Life don't get any better, does it, really? So I'm off now to find myself a little spot. I'll see you later. Cheers! Iceland is just as famous for its lagoons Hello. as it is for one of its famous residents, Santa Claus. Nice to meet you, and Jane. I'm Margaret. Margaret, how are you? Good, thank you. So excited. Yes. It's never too late or too early to get into the festive mood in my book. What a fabulous shop. <laughs> oh, it smells like Christmas. It is Christmas. It's Christmas. <laughs> yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So you get to do this all year round? Yeah, I do. Oh. Yeah. Do you have little elves that help you? Yes. Yeah? Two, two small ones. Two small elves. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. <laughs> What's this? It's our Christmas meat. Christmas meat? Yeah. And yeah. the food that's important too, it's, yeah, that's a big... You know, you, you have to have good food on Christmas time. Is that right? Yeah, if you smell it. The Christmas oh, God, it's, it's smoked. Yeah, it's the uh, smell of Icelandic Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's what Icelandic... It's, it's, if if, you, if uh, Icelandic people want to have Christmas smell, it is the smell. It's this. Yeah. What is it? It's lamb. Lamb? Yeah, it has been... Uh, smoked salt. lamb? Yeah, salt and smoked. Okay, do I uh, eat this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very good. Smoked lamb? I've never thought oh, of that. Good. Nice, isn't it? It's... <laughs> in Christmas time, we boiled it. Mm. This and is unboiled. So. This is unboiled. And most of the people boiled it late in the evening on 23. Yeah. And then this strong smoke will go around the house. Mm. It's a Christmas. Uh. And then we eat it cold on 25. Wow. And then we have this special bread. With yeah. It. It's called lava bread. Lava bread. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's our family recipe. Yes. But here we make it all year round so mm -hmm. people can have a taste of bread. Okay. And this we have is this meat. Mm. Crunchy, crunchy. It's like crisps, yeah. potato chips, aren't yeah. they? People use everything from the sheep, mm. and it's fried in the fat from the sheep. And this it meat tastes really good. And this meat is smoked with a dry sheep. Let's say that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. This meat is smoked with a dry sheep. <laughs> in the old days, we used yeah. this to warm up the house. Well, it, it comes in handy, yeah. doesn't it? And yeah. this meat and fish and everything was hanging in the roof, and the smoke go up. Yeah. And smoke the meat. Can I have some more bread? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'll stick to my roast turkey dinner, thanks. As you'd expect, 
Lots of Dear Santa letters find their way up here and I've been allowed to have a sneak peek. Dear Icelandic Santa, we came here on our honeymoon and got a sweet ornament with our first Christmas together on it. Hopefully next year you maybe could bring us one for our tree that says baby's first Christmas. I like the idea that it's an adult that is, is writing to Santa. Hello Santa, my name is Jennifer. Your place looks very nice. I just wanted to let you know I don't need anything this Christmas, but if you could send my friend Annika, a nice man in his early 50s, <laughs> I would be so happy. It's probably best if he is tall, dark and handsome. What she's missed off there, tall, dark and handsome with a kind heart. That's what you need. Well, fingers crossed, Annika gets something naughty and nice this Christmas. Seems a shame to leave, but that's cruising for you. Another day, another port. This morning, we're in Husavik. A small town with some big residents. Whale watching excursion will shortly be departing from the dockside. Don't forget your cruise cards and enjoy your whale watching. Got everything? Yeah, I think so. And we're off whale watching. Husavik is the whale watching capital of Iceland, and the chance to see them in the wild is what makes this cruise so unique. Hello, morning. Good morning. This is early. This is really early. It's great, I'm on an excursion today with all the rest of the passengers. You're sharing the same experiences. It's great. Getting up on a morning, that's an experience. It's like being on a school trip. <laughs> to see the whales, we've got to go out towards the Arctic Circle. It's going to be a rate parky, so we have to wrap up. And okay. then outside I'll have gloves, goggles and the life jackets. Oh, you're joking. I have to put more on. I can hardly walk. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a glamorous TV presenter. That's what my job is, isn't it? Mm. Well, I'm kitted up and I'm ready for action. Bring on the whales. All right. Hello, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Just anywhere. Yeah, in the front it's more bouncy. To the back it's more stable. Bye. Here we go. <laughs> it's just a different experience, this completely. I mean, I'm out here on a speedboat dressed like a Teletubby, but it's an adventure, isn't it? And it's great. So we are looking for the whales. So now it's a little game we play with them. Every day called whale waiting. Whale waiting, not whale watching. Whale waiting. <laughs> There's over 20 different species of whales in the sea around here, so surely we'll see one. There, and it's wow. on our left side. We'll be moving now. Round our eleven. What? Where? Eleven o'clock. <laughs> there she blows. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> I'm glad you're as excited as me. Look. So that's better than any shots I got. Yeah, that's, well, I'm not one to cause trouble. But you need Donna on camera. No disrespect. And up, well, one. It's more than 
one whale now. This is oh, this is not every day. Oh, it's three, three. <laughs> They're like buses. You don't see one, then four come along at once. Who knew? Oh my God, that was worth everything to just come on this trip, just to see that. I didn't think I'd be this excited about seeing whales. It gets you right here because it's, it's just amazing. Look at this setting we've got. Mill Pond Sea today. We've got blue skies and we've got four whales coming out to play. It's just amazing. I've been blessed today. Blessed. Coming up, I have a front row seat on a night to remember. Oh, look! One of the best things about cruising? You go to bed and you wake up somewhere completely new, ready for the next adventure. And that's certainly what this simple cruise is all about. Today, we've docked in Sedisfjorda. Morning, Jane. Good morning. Come out here. Come out here and see this lovely view. We're in Stedisfjord, uh, Stedisfjord, we're on the east coast of Iceland. And uh, just look, look at this. It's just beautiful, isn't it? This is where um, people all chill and have a cup of coffee on the morning. And this morning, it's all mine. So I'm gonna chill. But I, I must stress that this weather is a freak. Usually in Iceland at this time of year, it's between six and eight degrees. Today, it's between 19 and 21. It's like the summer of 1976, for those who remember it. Um, I was obviously only three at the time, but it was a lovely time. Very hot, if I remember. And it's just like that here. It's gorgeous. There's not a cloud in the sky. I'm having a relaxing day today after all the adrenaline of yesterday going out on that amazing whale watching. So I might have a trip out in the town because it looks a little lovely town. There must be a shop out there somewhere and if there is, I'll find it. <laughs> After I finish my brew, though. If you visit this part of the island in winter, you may only get about five hours of daylight. But come in the summer, and there can be nearly 24 hours of sun. Look at the colours of these houses. I never thought corrugated iron could look so nice. It's what you put on your garage roof, isn't it? But look how nice it is. That is just your dream house. I think you'll have given up the bright lights of Wakey and coming to settle here. Nothing will take me away from Wakey. But to come here for the summer, but that's just a bit extravagant, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with a caravan in Brid. Now I do love a bit of retail therapy. So where's the shops before my car burns a hole in my pocket? Hi, Hi. Ian. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, 
are you today? Really well, and yourself? I'm good. Good. The sun is shining, couldn't oh. be better. Oh, I like that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's really nice, that. But it's so expensive. Ed, look away now. I'm going in for another purchase. <laughs> Can I get you to wrap those up? Oh, thank you. It's very much like Wakefield. It is? Yeah, no. You've got the wow factor here. Yeah. Can you say you. the name of the place again? It's Seydisfjörður. Seydith. Fjord. <laughs> yeah. We love it when you have a go. Yeah. Yeah. What does say goodbye? Vertusai. Vertusai. Thank you. Tak verir. Tak whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bless, bless. Oh, is this a shop? This is somebody's house. Are we allowed? OK. Oh, it's a shop. Hello. Hi, guys. Is this a shop? It is. You're welcome to come in. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's a living room store. It's a living room <laughs> store. Yes, why not? Hello, I'm Jane. I am Erna. Hi. Uh, what, sorry, say Erna. Erna. Erna? Something to practice for the day. Erna. Erna. There yeah. you go. Okay, I've heard worse. <laughs> Erna. I like that. Yeah, thank yeah. you. So far, so good. I like it too. <laughs> that helps, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. When people... Oh, of... please show me in. After you? After you, please. Oh, thank you. Open. So here we are. Welcome to my living room store. <laughs> this is fantastic. A living room store. Yes. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So do you import all this? It's mostly from Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so different designers and uh, you know, top clothing designers in Iceland. Oh, it's a bold statement, but they're no. quite famous. Yeah. yeah, quite known. And uh, yeah, just different. Uh, how long have you had this? This store, it was supposed to be a pop-up store for three months last summer. Yeah? And now I'm, I think, 15 months old. Wow. So it's not just a pop-up anymore? Not, no, it changed somewhere yeah. down the lane. Yeah, so <laughs> here I am still. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. And I meet all kinds of people, and it's just it's so much fun. Yeah. Yes. I love that you just open a, a front room up, and there's your shop. Mm-hmm. A living room store. These are fabulous. Huh? Yeah, this is Philip. He lives here as well. He has a store, but he, uh, he's he been sick. So oh. um, I have a few of his scars here, and they're so nice. Yeah. So all of us here, we have like two or three of them almost. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Can you put so one on nice. and let me see? Yeah, of course. Well, maybe you, you want to try one. No, you, you, I'd like to see you in it first. Uh, is that all right? Yes, that is absolutely fine. Uh -huh. So you can wear it like this. Uh -huh. I wear mine like, I double it up. Ah. Because we do get snow sometimes. It's kind of cozy and nice. And That's work. good. And then you can also have it so, it's so like I can a... be over it. That. Ah, yeah. That's a good idea when it's cold. Isn't it, it is kind of nice. It is. It's really nice. So it's perfect. That's Icelandic a good colour. wool. Yeah. Icelandic wool. I didn't get my The sheep is, is massively important in Iceland, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. Everything I see has got something to do with the sheep. Yeah. So yeah. This is Icelandic wool. This is Icelandic wool. Uh huh. You eat a lot of lamb here. We do. Uh -huh. We do, and they're free range, so they just walk around. They're happy little things. Yeah. So yeah, they're treated quite well. So it's all organic and. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Thank you. I'm oh, gonna have a look course. around the town and yeah. have a look. Of course. But lovely to meet you. I same to you. Enjoy Come. your stay. You're so nice. Yeah, thank you. you. Enjoy your stay. Okay. Always welcome. And your dad's lovely. Just he's, met your yeah, dad. Yeah. He's fine as well. He's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Captain's told us that tonight we might just see the most fabulous sight in this part of the world, the Northern Lights. Or Aurora Borealis, if you watch University Challenge. That's why we're all out and about on deck, freezing our boots off and hoping to get a glimpse. So this is such an exciting night. I can't even tell you how exciting it is to see the Northern Lights, what everybody talks about and what this trip 
the ultimate thing would happen on this trip uh, is to see them. And they are there. They just wait to come out to say hello to us all. That's exciting! <laughs> They've even switched all the lights off on the ship so that we can see this so much better. Oh, wow, yeah, look. There they are, look. Woohoo! Oh, here it comes, look at that. Look at that! Oh, look at that one. Look, look. amazing the dancing clouds of light are created when particles from the Sun hit gases in the Earth's atmosphere well it says here different gases cause all kinds of different colors with the most common being a green wave caused by oxygen right lesson over now you won't normally catch me dead out in the freezing cold but this is just too good to miss oh that's better <laughs> Oh, that's, oh, that's heaven. Thanks, John. Right, I'm ready for night now. Get me a flask and I'm here for night. Oh, good grief, look at that. You know, when you see nature at its finest, it, it so makes you feel humble. How lucky are we to? to be here and seeing all this, John. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. The next leg of our cruise takes us around the rugged south coast to Vest Manager, just here. This collection of 15 teeny tiny islands is home to just a few thousand people. Dozens of volcanoes and one of my favorite types of bird. These islands have the largest puffin colony of Europe. Puffins are monogamous and mate for life. Mm. Male puffins are the homemakers and every year return to the same burrow to prepare it for the arrival of their mate. I'm definitely related to puffins. When the female puffin arrives, the male puffin waits outside the burrow while she goes in to inspect it. If she comes out and it's bad news, her mate has to go back and do a better job. Just do it right the first time and then you, you're in for a bit of action. <laughs> they share a room until she's with egg. Couples have one chick known as a puffling a year. Both parents are involved in rearing the puffling. I love puffins. I really love puffins. Every year, thousands of the little ones get lost inland, having been lured by the bright lights. Well, we've all been there. Luckily, the local children come to the rescue. They collect up all the baby birds and bring them here to Puffin HQ. Right. I'm going in. Are you ready? Coming okay. up, I give One, my favourite feathered two, friends a helping three. hand. Woo! I'm cruising round Iceland, and today I'm visiting a rescue centre that helps one of my favourite birds, the puffin. Hi. Your yes. name? Gudrun. Gudrun. Yes. Gudrun. This is an orphan? Uh, yes, he is. Uh, he is here, uh, well, he's six years old. Uh -huh. And he has been here most of his life, really. He was probably a week in the wild. And the reason that he's here is because he was abandoned in the puffin colony since he is born about six weeks late, or hatching six weeks late. So what happens then? Do they just, do the parents just think, this is a late baby, I'm leaving it, I'm going? Yeah. <gasps> and the parents leave the children often. Well, all the time, they leave them. Really? And then they leave when they get hungry. 
So when his parents left him, he was only about a third of the size and weight he had to be. To survive? To, uh, yes. Yeah. Because they go out at sea and are for a few years at sea. And he was still all covered in down and just only about a third of the size and weight he had to be. So you're, you're like foster parents for, yes. for little baby puff, pufflings, yeah? Yes, we are, we are a rescue centre uh -huh. and we try to release all of the birds that we get here. We don't only, we don't only get puffins, we get uh, kittiwigs, we get guillemots uh, and a lot of other birds. Uh -huh. And um, he is just here because this is his best chance of living. So this is the girlfriend. Yeah. You can see that the teenagers are not kind to puffins as they are not kind to kids. So she looks a bit rough. She don't at all. But she is still very beautiful. So I next don't think year she, she looks rough. What do you think? Why do you think she looks rough? Uh, she she just looks a bit torn around this, but really, it's fine. It's just I because think it adds character. Three. Love it adds character. Yeah. Don't give it a complex. <laughs> So she is still very beautiful, though. I think this... she's very beautiful. Do you want to jump? I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Girlfriend's here, mate. Let's hope that they do the greeting. No. Nope. It's like I'm so tired. She is a bit more petite than he is. Yeah. And also she is a bit more active than he is. Really? As she's... in? She is... Probably not very popular amongst the other puffins we have because she is always trying to get the party started. Really? And everybody's trying to just chill like Tote. Yeah. And she just wants everybody to play along. She's like her. the pink yeah. of, the, of the puffin world. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's puffin great here and right on cue there's another delivery. Hello. Hello. What you got? Oh. So this is what happens, the little Hi. ones go and rescue them. So this puffling is number 179 that they mm. have rescued. You're a chief rescue puffing person. <laughs> what did you find it? Uh, near the harbour. Near the harbour? Yeah, it comes at night when they see the light from the street and they think the reflection is the ocean. Ah. So they mistake it and land on the street instead. Oh, bless them. Oh, oh look! Yeah. The best way to hold it is like this. Yeah, yes. okay. Around the way. And then they can't scratch you with bites. Hello. It is. I feel you Little puffing. Oh, it's a little puffing. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> this one go. is a very calm one. They're very calm. They're either like this or absolutely crazy. <laughs> There's no in-between. So now we're going to weigh it. The puffins are inspected. 235. And then we take the wing. Yeah. So it's kind of like the elbow. Uh -huh. 141. Yeah. Then photographed. He's... Look how cute is that? Oh, I thought it was dirty. Yeah, back in your box. I'm made ready to go back to their natural home. I'm going to release this puffin into the wild now. Hello. Oh, it's quite sad. I bet it quite likes it in there. Look. Can you see? Oh. Oh no. It's my little puffin friend. Probably, you know, one of my offspring. That's great. Look at him go. So this is a pastime of yours then? The, this puffin is number 179 yeah. that my family catches this wow. year. Wow, that's a lot of puffins. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, flipping egg. It's cold. <laughs> this puffin don't want to come out of this box. <laughs> I never expected to be releasing puffins yeah. to the wild in my yeah. trip to Iceland with a beautiful Icelandic family. We have to call them the puffin rescuers. Welcome to Puffin Rescue on Channel 5. Whee! 
Is there a special technique for releasing them? People usually do this technique here. You ah. put your hands underneath your wings. That's it. Give okay. them a bit of a warm up. Yeah. And do this. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Woo! Look at that. It's gone. Look. It's gone. It's gone. It's flying like a really good bird. <laughs> Oh, that was so exhilarating. I was so worried that it was just going to go, you know, and then splat. And it didn't. It got, it just went whoosh. It flew. It did everything. Its little wings were going and it flew over there. Oh, I'm a proud parent. I've let it go. I've let it go. Thank you for that. Oh, you're Thank welcome. you. Coming up. Another ancient Icelandic tradition involving sheep, sheep, right. and more sheep. <laughs> it's like being on a motorbike. <laughs> My cruise around Iceland is nearly over, and it's turned out to be one to remember. This trip is all about going from adventure to adventure, and we've certainly done that. And before we head back to Reykjavik, the crew have told me to get my wellies on. That's always a worry. Apparently, my help's needed at something called Eretia, a traditional gathering of local farmers, and about a thousand of these. In summer, all the farmers here send their sheep off to the mountains to graze freely. Then, as the winter sets in, they will need to be rounded up and brought back to the farm. Oh, my God, here they come. <laughs> Woo! There's about twice as many sheep as people in Iceland, so this job is never going to be easy. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> So friends, family, and even up for it tourists like me come together to lend the farmers a hand. Can I come in too? Yeah, yeah come in. <laughs> this is just like. <laughs> Did you see that one? <laughs> Did you see that then? <laughs> you almost <laughs> opened the. The high. I'm being rammed. <laughs> is that a word? I just made that up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. This is not my natural habitat. The lovely thing about this is that the people aren't just rounding up their own sheep, they're doing it for each other. Very Icelandic. Luckily, all the animals are tagged, so all you need to do is match the sheep to the pen. Yeah, if we take that one. Yeah. And you, you just have to read this marking. This is 312. Yeah. And then we have on the other side here 14, 14 uh, uh, two. 2. That would be, I saw it over there somewhere. <laughs> well, there it goes. Hold the horns. So it's like a motorbike. Yeah. And hold really fast. You have to grip really bad around, good okay. around the horns. All right. Step with the right one over. <laughs> like that one. Yeah, yeah. and put right. them together. Yeah. And then we walk it over here. OK. <laughs> OK. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being on a motorbike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure the farming life's for me. I've only done one and I'm flagging. Oh, well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, how was it? It was, um... We don't quite... need to go to the gym today. No, that, I've, I've done a workout. Yeah. I've done a workout yeah. there, yeah. Does it not hurt them? Does it not hurt them? It doesn't hurt them. No. If you hold the horns, it's just... You're just, like, holding the... 
I mean, they, they use them to, to ram to each ram, other, so, yeah. so they, they're really strong there. Okay. You can also take them by the wool. Yeah. And that, it doesn't hurt them either. It's just like when you take a puppy up. I the, see. The skin doesn't, it doesn't hurt them at all. So I think it's it's, that, that's what we're afraid of, is hurting them, isn't it? Yeah, so. but, but they really, these are tough animals. They've survived Iceland in a thousand years. Yeah. Uh, the harsh nature, uh, bad weathers, and, and all that kind of uh, bad tough. things happening yeah. to them. So they're really tough. They're tough, tough shit. Even if they, if they get, get buried in snow, they will survive for several weeks underneath the snow. Really? They will just live off the fat that they have. Gosh, so they are quite tough little. Really yeah. tough. Yeah, I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> I don't feel too bad. <laughs> I love that every single family from everywhere around here comes together. Everybody seems genuinely so pleased to see each other. It's a real good community and everybody's out here for the same thing, to, to get the sheep in for the winter. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling exhilarated and uh, I think it's the fresh air. It's it's the it's so cold, but it's fresh, and and you feel like you're doing something really worthwhile. You know, it's it's exciting. You know, Iceland is just the country that keeps on giving and giving. It's it's just amazing, and it's not just the the, the island itself and how brutal it can be and so beautiful at the same time, but it's the people, the people here have such big, warm hearts. And trust me, you need that on an island as cold as this. So, right, one, two, three. Good, don't have to sit on it. Don't forget your plugs. <laughs> I, I came for an adventure, and, and I've definitely had one on here. So um, it, it's been everything it says on the chocolate box tin. Oh, it's been full of adventure. I've seen whales, I've seen the Northern Lights. Look at that one, look. It's just been mystical, magical, and wonderful. It's also been one of the most peaceful places I've ever been to. Isn't that right, Bjork? Shh. It's oh so quiet. Shh. Shh. It's oh so still. Shh. Shh. You're all alone shh, shh. and so peaceful until you fall in love zing boom the sky up above zing boom is caving in wow ah! you've never been so nuts about a guy you wanna laugh you wanna cry you cross your heart and hope to die till it's over and then shh, shh, it's nice and quiet shh, shh, but soon again Thank you. Thank you. So coming out. Yeah. <laughs> what?
We're back with Jean next Saturday at 20 past 7, Cruising Asia. Brand new tonight at 10.15, they're the entertainment shows we love to watch, but we like them even better when it all goes to pot, when talent shows go horribly wrong. Next, she certainly has had her ups and downs, but despite this, she continues to be a loyal servant to the country. With her upcoming birthday, we wish Princess Anne all the best with the best queen we never had. <laughs>